It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Wednesday, September 9th. I'm James Spann. The weather looking fairly wet tomorrow, but the big story is this cool air about to blow in here this weekend. Check things out today. Water vapor satellite view. Always impressive to see that tropical connection from the Pacific. Let's say a dying tropical system by the name of Linda off the coast of Baja, California. The high level moisture from that coming across Texas, then curving up toward the Great Lakes. That'll be actually involved in Alabama tomorrow, so it uh, looks like a relatively wet day. Here's a look at the radar that was captured at uh, 235. And uh, we actually had a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Marion County soon after that radar shot was taken for the potential for strong winds. Uh, no organized severe weather is expected, but some strong storms a possibility through the evening hours. Birmingham, 83. Highs drop in the 70s this weekend. And again, we're thinking the cooler pockets go in the 40s by Monday morning of next week. That's the convective outlook for the rest of today and tonight. Marginal risks well to the north. All of Alabama in green. That means thunderstorms are a possible, if not likely, but organized severe weather not expected. Then tomorrow, a slight risk over parts of Kansas and Missouri across the nation's midsection. Rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning. Average amounts about one inch. But after Friday, the chance of rain really drops off. We go totally rain-free by Saturday afternoon, Sunday, and Monday. Weather in the tropics, grace dissipated this morning is expected, so it's off the board. We have Tropical Depression 8 that is east of Bermuda. That's moving north. That will be curving to the east without affecting the United States. Maybe become a, tr a tropical storm. The name would be the H storm, Henry, if it gets a name. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You can see broad troughing developing over the east. A pretty good moisture pool in place. And again, there's actually some connection with that eastern Pacific tropical system. So we'll forecast a good chance of showers and storms tomorrow with a high only in the low 80s with a mostly cloudy sky. Now, Friday, the, the coverage of the rain won't be as great. Uh, we certainly could see showers around. Uh, Friday or Friday night, but not as extensive as tomorrow. And the high Friday would be in the mid-80s. And this is Saturday, and look at that trough over the east. Wowzer. Down below that, dry air rolls in, and it will we'll leave the chance of a shower in Saturday morning, a stray shower, the sky becoming partly to mostly sunny Saturday afternoon, a fresh north breeze, maybe gusting up to 20 miles an hour. And then Sunday, what a day. We start the day down in the low 50s. The latest GFS is showing 52 for Birmingham. And again, a good chance we'll see 40s in the colder pockets. The high Sunday in the middle 70s. And Monday, another beautiful day. And again, upper 40s in colder pockets, low 50s for everybody else. The high Monday around 80. Tuesday, we stay dry. We note that very deep surface low. Uh, across the uh, high plains, that might set up some severe weather for places like Des Moines. Wichita and Omaha, if that indeed verifies. And then Wednesday, a week from today, uh, troughing is coming into the Plain States. Down below that, moisture begins to increase, and we might see a few showers returning by Wednesday of next week. Here's the end of the forecast. Saturday, September 19th, we got broad troughing over the central U.S., and again, looks like we could see some moist air, maybe a few scattered showers about it, this is correct. Man, look at those numbers. They keep on dropping off the ensemble. Uh, now we've got lows at 50 here early uh, Sunday and Monday morning. The high Sunday only at 70, and that's with sunshine and full force and nice cool breeze. And next week, not bad. Highs go back in the low to mid 80s with lows mostly in the 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.